Welcome back to the Caribou Data Science Channel. I'm doing a quick video to video here to help you install uh, R Tools 4.0 for for R4 and above. Uh, just a brief note: uh, if you run on Linux or Unix or some type, you don't need R Tools because R Tools is basically all those uh, wonderful Unix command line tools, text tools. Plus, more most importantly, it also includes the software you need in order to compile and build. Our packages from source. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is come over and download. I, I might I might note that while while I'm uh, doing this video, if, if the screen goes blank for a couple of seconds, just wait. I'll be back in a couple, you know, four or five seconds. So so don't panic. That's the uh, first thing we're gonna do. We're gonna find our tools. Okay, so I just do a search for our tools 4.0, and here it is. Come down here and download the version which which is correct for your. Uh, for your uh, for your system, your Windows system. Okay, then we come over here to download, and here it is. Now, if you get an error message saying you don't have permissions to install this, then come back out and do a run as administrator. But on my system, as you'll see, I don't need I don't need that. Okay, just, just put yes. Take the defaults. Most importantly, do not change this pass statement. Uh, you'll get an error saying uh, you, uh, our studio can't find our tools. It has to be right there. Do not change that, okay? Then you just do an install. Again, don't change any of the defaults. Just put that in there. Now, as soon as it's finished, I'll show you how to check and make sure it isn't correctly installed, all right? Let's be done just one moment here. Okay, so that's done here. And next we'll open up our studio and check the installation. Make sure it's properly installed. Okay, so there it is. So now we open up our studio. Come up here, open up shell, click tools, open up shell. And the dollar sign prompt tells you that, that you uh, our tools is properly installed, okay? You can also do something like this. Just, just run a, a, you know, a, a, a Unix command, and that tells you also that, that it's correctly installed. And there's one more thing I like to do. And that's, I like to add uh, the path to our tools in, into my uh, system system path statement. So I highlight path, click this, and here, here you can see where I installed our, our tools. I added a path, so now, so now uh, our tools is part of my system path. Okay, my user, act specifically is a part of my user variables. But I also add it under, I also add it into the into the system variables also, just for good measure. And there it is. So now what we can do is once again we know we're correctly installed. So now we open up a uh, open up a command prompt. This tells us that, that R is in the past statement. Now, if I run it, you're going to see this isn't going to work because, because uh, it shouldn't work correctly. But anyway, should, right. But if I run bash, that means that means our tools is in the correct is in the path of. So now I can run grip. Okay. Now, so at this point, you should be good to go. Uh, if you have any questions, be sure to post them to the uh, post them to the uh, the comments below. And thanks so much for your time. And you, you now. 
you now should be up and running on uh, after uh, after you install our last step should be installing our studio. You should be up and ready to go at that point. Any questions, comments, post them to the Facebook uh, R for statistic, our, our statistical software uh, group. You can also post them in the comments below. Thanks so much for your time. We'll catch you on this next report.